Hey guys, what's going on? We are on our way back from Power Lab Performance. Uh, you got to see, um, I'm gonna show you the clip of the dyno in a second. performance. Julie's about to dyno her car and uh, we want to see what it puts down on my setup with a booster pump and an 18 manifold so we'll be able to see what numbers it puts down. But yeah this is a quick little glimpse at Power Lab Performance. Really super clean shop they got here. Let's see. Seems a little low. <laughs> so 550 and 449? 459? Is it pig? Is it pretty rich? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it seems like the, the problems that Julie had when she was doing her NA polls has translated into her boost poles because there's some sort of knock on the top end that's causing a problem uh, that we haven't really tracked down. Um, we never diagnosed that knock before the Pro Charger install, thinking that maybe it could have just been something with the nitrous system or just something that wasn't installed correctly. Uh, but the knock seems to be back, it's flat lining. Um, at about 6,000 RPMs. So it's not, the car's not adding timing, it's aggressively pulling timing. Uh, you can see it on the dyno sheet that it's actually pulling timing. Uh, it just flat lines. It definitely shouldn't be flat lining with an 18 manifold. I've ran into a problem with mine. Uh, it's not as major, uh, but it seems like the cooling system is uh, leaking. And it's just, it's kind of spraying a, a good bit of mana coolant underneath the car. Uh, from the coolant reservoir tank So Chase and the awesome guys at Power Lab are gonna be um, fixing that for me tomorrow We're just gonna kind of plug that site tube uh, I'm not gonna run the site tube I'm just gonna get that plugged and then uh, they're gonna do a full inspection on the car But we did it we threw it on the lift today and it seemed like that's where it was just it had a sweet smell um, So we think the coolant is the issue the coolant reservoir tank um, and then of course, uh, if you look over here, uh, this boost gauge is gonna be replaced. Uh, she's looking for the one that she wants. I was so gracious enough to give what, I was gonna give her mine with the sweet garbage, garbage fiber. Garbage. <laughs> garbage fiber, <laughs> carbon fiber gauge cup, but uh, she, she didn't want it. She said it looked ugly, but anyways, she's probably gonna be running that one tomorrow. Uh, I'm just gonna let her use that one. Um, and they'll just put it in her car so we can at least see how many pounds the system is putting out But yeah, that's kind of a, just a quick update of where her her car is. She's I know she's really bummed out. We're not driving home today, but 
sometimes that's just what happens. Uh, the car sounds pretty strong. Uh, there's no issues with the Pro Charger. There's just that weird knock problem that, that's occurring. Once we find that knock, or once Powerlab finds that knock, where it's coming from, Powerlab's actually gonna be, so I, let me rewind a little bit. One, one racing right now is kind of closed. Uh, they kind of stopped tuning after five o'clock. But Power Lab has been really gracious enough to data log the car with HP tuners uh, to kind of find out where that knock is. Because uh, there's different knock sensors on bank one and bank two of the motor. Uh, so they've been really kind enough to spend some time after hours to help really diagnose, see where that knock is. Once they take care of that knock and figure out the issue with that, uh, we're, they're gonna do another pull. And I guarantee you that tune it's gonna add a quite a bit more timing. She should be right at 600, a little past 600 uh, once they fix that problem. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I'm gonna end this vlog. Um, you know, it, it's just kind of one of those things where when when you do stuff to your car, you're gonna run into issues. Very rarely uh, do things go on without a hitch, and uh, we've just hit some few. We, we've hit a few hitches with our. Uh, our installs not not the fault of power lab at all they've been really amazing with installing our stuff uh, and really help diagnose and fix the problems either with my used Whipple kit uh, or Julie's knock issue so with that hope you guys have an awesome day and hopefully by this weekend because my cow hood is going away I'm going back to the stalker hood I'm gonna talk to you guys about that and uh, hopefully we'll have some good news in the next couple days and uh, we'll have some really fast cars that Julie and I can race together and uh, really see who pulls more. So we'll catch you guys later. Did you want to say anything outside of you want to sell your car right now? No, nope. part out. Okay. Everything's for sale. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys later. Take it easy. Bye.